Hello friends, it's Peg here, and I know you're probably saying by now she's jelly printing again. Well, there are those of you who've probably never seen jelly printing, don't know what I'm talking about. And this is for them. If you have seen this before and you want to skip ahead, that's fine. But I want to also tell you about a collaboration that's going on, so don't miss that information. Anyway, a jelly print is done on a Jelly Arts printing plate. And essentially what it is, is a monoprint. You say, what is a monoprint? Well, it's a one-time print. Once you put the paint down and do whatever it is you're going to do to it and make your print, it's never going to be the same again because you only get one shot at it. So that's what I am doing here. I have several different printing plates out. I'm using tools that I have made myself and those that have been manufactured by companies. And I'm working with craft paints from Deco Arts. A lot of them are the metallics. Um, I know Shell likes shimmer and so do I. So that's what we're doing is we're getting a bunch of prints ready for each other. And then we are going to create using the pages that we have created for each other. Shell and I have been collaborating on several different projects over the last couple of years and it's been a lot of fun and we're finding out the things that we like and where we have similarities and where we have differences. Uh, color is one of them. But I'm going to create some things with pinks and purples. Never fear, Shell. You will get your colors. And a few of the metallics because we both like that. And, um, you know, just have fun with this. So you see the thing that I'm printing with right now, that happens to be a piece of paper that was die cut. Uh, it was scrapbook paper and so you can use a lot of those things for stencils if you have them around in your stash. Um, you may have seen some things that you didn't quite recognize earlier. Those were stamps that I had made with my uh, foam and just cut it up and made my own stamps. And, you know, you can make your own tools. You can use bottle caps. You can use uh, foam rubber. You can use spatulas. You can use, these are die cuts. You know, I, I have a number of die that I can cut different shapes out of and use those images on a plate. And you can color your die cuts this way too. You know, if you roll your paint out on your surface and then use that paint on that surface to color your die cuts with, it's fun and you pick up the paint and then you also have where that was on the plate, which is a relief to print with. So there are a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, another thing that I was using was some paper that I had embossed on a Big Shot machine. I take it and run it through the Big Shot and emboss it and get a raised image and then I can stamp onto the surface using that. Now this paper that I'm using that's really thin, that happens to be quick wrap sandwich wrap. Um, there are a couple of different sandwich wraps that are nice for collage and I had gotten initially I'd gotten another brand which is the cabinet wax and it's folded it's creased in the middle and it has wax on one side. This particular one the quick wrap does not have the waxy surface on the one side and it does not have the fold in it so I really like that. Now you also see me combing. Sorry, I had a little tickle in my throat. Anyway, I was talking to you about combing. Now, this tool that I am using, I actually purchased, I think, in an art supply, but there are a number of different combs that you can get. I've also created them out of silicone spatulas that I've bought at the dollar store. Um, you can just take an X-Acto knife and cut the end of it and make the shapes that you want to. It's 
so versatile. You, I mean, you can use a ball of string, you can use stamps, you can, you know, there are any number of things that you can use on here. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is the jelly print, jelly press plate is a really fun tool. It comes in a lot of different sizes and shapes and you can pick whatever is right for you. So I have a full assortment um, just because I can use them as stamps. I can do full big sheets. It's something that's very versatile. Okay, I get the black paint out. I have to tell you about this. Patty Tolly Parish. I have a number of her stencils because I really like her style. And if you ever watch her, she's a hoot and she uses these contrasting colors that really make things stand out. And one of the things I like about her prints is the use of black. So you can see when I would use this on this combed paper, how much dimension you get just by adding that black layer on there. And that's what jelly print uh, printing is about, is all of those layers that you can get. Um, I love my layers of paint. And this is one way to achieve layers very quickly. So Shell and I will be producing things for you here on YouTube and just watch in about a week, we'll have some more. Okay, here we go. I am not gonna put you through watching every single one of these makes, but um, this is the care package I'm sending out to show. I have some of the pieces that I used in the making of. I also have the cleanup, some of the cleanup sheets that I used with the deli papers. So I think she'll be able to get some use out of these. And there's a variety. And then I have the deli prints. This is done on some scrapbook paper. This is done on some uh, magazine paper. These are done on different weights of card. So it's just a variety. Shell loves purple. So there's a lot of purple, pinky, blue stuff here. And some shimmer and some metallics because I like metallics and so does she. And I love this one with the fall leaves. This one, it's hard for you to see because it's got that copper on top of the greeny gold, but I love it. So that's going in the mail. It's coming your way, Shell.